It's been ages since I last saw Daz. Or oh, Darren. His mum and sister call him. Yet strangely, it only feels like yesterday. We first met on the old wreck, around the corner from our houses. He was a couple of months younger than me, a fact I never let him forget. I rode up on my bike and said, you all right? I'm Pete. He didn't answer the straight away, but eventually we got talking and became best mates. Hanging around each other's houses, going to the match together. We drank half our beer with each other. Started double dating some girls from Edge Hill. Let's just say I was a bit more successful than him. After school, we went our separate ways. Me to uni in Manchester, him into the army. We kept in touch though, and one of us has done this journey every time he's had leave. Never any excuses. It was easy to get together and keep each other's feet on the ground. I'd talk computers and IT. He'd be bored and tell me about some amazing adventure in some exotic location, as well as how much better he was in the art of love. Not so easy now. If I'm honest, I've let it slip. Oh, life gets in the way. See, since Daz and Darren was sadly wounded on patrol, in an instant everything changed. Since then I've found excuses. But it's never got in the way of him coming to see me, so it's hardly any effort from my side. I told him that I expect to see him in the Olympics. <laughs> and if there was a medal for chatting up women, he'd be sure of a gold. Lost his legs. Not the gift of the gab, that's for sure. No matter how difficult I find these trips now, it's always amazing to see him. For both of us. There's some things that shouldn't be missed. This is one of them. You know, it's gonna be okay.